only take one. Take four. Six, take one. Slate nine, take one. Hello there. You go first. <laughs> no, you're, no. you're going first. Ah. Oh. Max and Jasper, take one. Hello, I'm Jasper, I'm 13, and I've lived in Redruth all my life. Hi, my name is Ashton, I'm 12, and, well, I live there. My name is Max, I've lived in Redruth my entire life. Tom and Josie, take one. Do we do the thing? Agents for change. So I wanted to join the project because, um, because it's an opportunity to do something about the town, and if no one decides to do anything about it, then it's just going to keep going downhill, and then you're just accepting it for what it is instead of deciding to change it for the better. I got involved in this project because I thought it'd be like fun, and I think Redruth needed something to be done before we just kind of fizzle out of existence. I chose to join Agents for Change because I thought like I can then get my ideas forward on how to make Red Roof a better place. I feel like Red Roof needs a lot to be changed to improve it and then to make it better for other generations. I got involved with this project because I thought that Red Roof, it's okay but I think it needs to be built up more and needs to look a bit better. It's scary sometimes as basically a child because there's so many adults in the town and it's kind of intimidating. My least favourite thing about Red Roof has to be the attitude people have towards it because it's not that like there aren't nice people in the town, it's just like that on a whole people kind of tend to have a negative attitude towards stuff that happens in it. This town, it's an amazing town, I love it, but it's struggling. We've got all these desolate buildings with cracked windows. It's just depressing to walk downtown. Well, there's not... It, it's sometimes quite threatening to walk a lot across the street. There's normally, like, loads of people who I feel a bit threatened by, and they... Yeah. Especially at night time. My least favourite thing about Red Ruth is that there's a lot of poverty here and homeless people. I think making Red Ruth more sustainable is my main idea. For example, recycling bins to help keep the town clean and eco-friendly. I think I want it to look better because there's a lot of broken down houses. You know, there's a lot of rubbish everywhere. Yeah, and I don't really like that. My favourite thing about Red Ruth has to be just the buildings that you see around it, because Obviously there's a very big history in Red Roof and it's very, you can see it through all the different mixes of uh, architecture and, his, and thing, history just all around you. I, I really like the history and the culture of Red Roof but I dislike going downtown and seeing how depressing it is really. With all these cracked windows, rowdy people, empty shops, there's so much stuff we could be using to improve the quality of Red Roof and we're just not doing it, we're just procrastinating. In the future, when I'm older, I'd really like to live in Cornwall because this is my home. But what with the way house prices are, it's really hard to buy a house anywhere for a young person. And the places in Cornwall are like just as expensive as they are in London in some places. I'd say the lack of community, like no one knows each other and we're not really as friendly as we usually were. Uh, I might like to live here in the future but I kind of want it to more to come together, more of a community, and there to be less rubbish. No, I don't think I could see myself living in Red Roof in the future because there's just not enough job opportunities here. You won't be able to get money to have a house or to support a family. I think I would stay in Red Roof if it got better because, well, as I said earlier about the houses and things like that, so, because I'm in year 10, a lot of people have start thinking about their future and about GCSEs and stuff, and they're like, well, get good grades, get a good job, but I think I'm about the only person in my year group who plans on still living in Cornwall, because no one else, because if you like, no, everyone else is kind of just thinking about moving somewhere else away from all of the, you know, yeah. poverty and stuff. 
I see it just becoming a desolate town that no one wants to go anywhere near because it's just bland and boring. Why wouldn't you want to just move up country where you could have such better places to live? If we stay like this, our future generations will like have this place like it is. Well, if we improve it, we could give them a better life. I think if nothing changed, then because of the amount of places like just being left at the moment, by the time it got to the time when I was an adult, it, it would be just like a desolate town. The, the more I do for the town now, the better it will be in the future when I hope I can live here. That was it, yeah. Taylor and Ashton take one. Mara, take one. Lizzie and Ellie, take one. Agents for Chain. It's a bit too loud. Agents for Chain. Yeah. Yeah. Agents for Chain. I just my If no one does anything, then it's just going to keep going downhill and you're, then you're just accepting it for what it is instead of deciding to do something about it. I really want to help restore that town to its former glory because it's a great town and we need to support it. Agents for change. Change. That's that's that. Yeah.